Welcome back. If you're still looking for a Christmas dinner, we got one for you. Eden handed over to J. William Culinary where she got the secret ingredient in their famous holiday ham. It's now time to dish. It's time to dish. Sometimes you gotta go right to the source. We're in Avondale. It's Jay William Culinary. Chef Jay Fallon is with us right now. Hi. Welcome. Thanks for letting us just come barge right on into Absolutely. your kitchen. Thanks for coming. Well, Thanks what's coming. going on? We're making glazed ham for, we are. for Christmas. We sure are. Merry Look at Christmas. That. Merry Christmas to you. That looks amazing and that that ham has been going for a while, I can tell. Yeah, this has been cooking for six hours. It actually brined. Uh, for two days, sugar, salt, water, some aromatics. We took it out. Uh, we roasted it for uh, six hours at 250 degrees, covered. Mm. We take it out, and we're making a glaze for it, and we're going to finish the last hour with this glaze on it. Okay. So right now we have the finished uh, glaze that's going on here, and I'll show, take you through the steps really quickly. Uh, this is easy, super simple. Um, so what we're going to start with is uh, some rice wine vinegar. Rice wine vinegar, yeah. okay. Rice wine vinegar, this is smoked turkey stock. I don't expect you to have smoked turkey stock on hand. Chicken stock will work. This is two cups. That was a cup of the uh, mm -hmm. rice wine vinegar. This is honey. You gotta have honey. Yeah, that's a cup and a half of honey. Very nice. Yeah. And so how, is it cooking on uh, high right now? Yeah, or? it's on high. We're gonna bring it up to a full simmer, you know, and then we're going to uh, turn it back down. Uh, onions, that's about half a cup of onions. Pomegranate concentrate, that's going to give wow. it the color and a little bit more richness Just like and flavor. grandma used Just to make. Just like grandma used to make, exactly. Um, and we're going to bring that to bring that to a boil, let it come down about by about half, and at that point we're going to add uh, ginger, this is lemongrass paste, which I looked around for, um, and I tried to get some fresh uh, lemongrass from one of our purveyors, and they were having difficulty getting it. And I could, I could get it, but what I was thinking is that if I have a hard time getting it, you're you're, having, you guys you're gonna are going to have a hard, hard time, time getting, getting it. it as well. So I got a, a lemongrass paste, mm -hmm. which I think works, works just fine. May I? I just want to. Uh, yeah. So. See, already that gives it such a, a different flavor. Right. And it should taste a little bit different because there are other holidays mm -hmm. where you might have ham and year round, but this is, a, you know, a special Christmas ham. Absolutely. So we're just going to add this to it. Okay. That looks like it's going to be something delicious. Yeah. And then we're also adding apples. Apples? Yeah. Didn't see that's that gonna give, That's going to give it a tartness, a sweetness, and also familiarity to something that goes with ham. We, we, we think about roasted apples with, when we think of uh, right. ham. So with this... So we're fast forwarding to, to we're this. We're very now. fast forwarding. This, this right. will reduce by, by half um, to two thirds. And we're gonna glaze this. And we're gonna do something really magic here in a second. We're gonna put this in the oven. And it's gonna come out all And done, it's gonna isn't come it? <laughs> out completely done. That is the magic of television. That's, watch, you know, it's, watch this. Ta -da. Look, ta -da. We do need a ta-da. <laughs> that is just gorgeous. That is putting me in the spirit. Mm -hmm. So this has been glazed, it's been basted. The last hour I would baste it with these juices and with, with the glaze every 10 minutes. So you're looking at about six times over the last hour and really glaze it. And then if you really want to be fancy, which we do. Which, Eden, I know you do. Ah, I you gotta you plate do. it. You should put it on a platter. Ah, and then slice it up. Uh, I mean, you know, I like to just pick at it oh. uh, myself, but, you know. It just depends. Well, yeah, so. Just absolutely Take stunning. that. That's Put gorgeous. it on the platter. And then we're gonna finish it with uh, any of the leftover glaze or any of this basting liquid. You just go right on top. Go around. You know what I I don't like when um, I run out of sauce, mm -hmm. uh, particularly if the sauce is good. Uh, so I like to have plenty of sauce, plenty of glaze. And would you maybe put some of the rest of that in a dish of some a gravy dish? You can put it on sort? the side. You can put it on the side. You know what we're gonna do too? If you notice, there was um, there wasn't any uh, salt uh -huh. in in any of this. There's salinity in the um, in the brine.
for the ham, but what we're going to do is we finish things a lot of times for, for catering and whatnot. We finish with, um, you know, specialty salts. This is a uh, citron salt. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna, just going to add a, um, a citrus element to, to and a, like a capricious salinity to, to this ham. So that looks that looks just absolutely stunning. Merry you, Christmas, Jay. Merry Christmas to Thank you, you Eden. Thank you so much for coming. This is such a special. So when you brought that back to the office, we attacked it. Attacked that it. was amazing. And, and, and look at look it into my eyes right now. That was the <laughs> best ham ever. I mean, I've never. I, yeah. it, it's like ruined me for it. <laughs> it was wonderful. If you'd like to get more information, head to J William Culinary. Dot com. He's he um you know Jay Phelan is a fantastic chef and that ham was a rock star <laughs> ham it was so good uh, I, you know obviously here it is on Christmas Eve I hope you've already planned what you're serving tomorrow but anyway once again JWilliamCulinary.com we'll be back.